What's up, guys? We got a uh, January 2017 edition of Motown Mail. This is the uh, non-certified slash TTM stuff that I was able to get in January 2017. Uh, let's get started, huh? First off, I bought these actually back in, I don't even know, it was like October or something. There was like a limited edition signing of uh, Lady Gaga's Joanne CD from Looney Tunes in New York. It's a uh, record store in New York. They're selling them at the price of the CD, so uh, this is something I thought might be worth something down the road. I mean, the, the market's flooded right now, but for the price of the CD, so I got both of these for like 35 shipped, I think, 36 shipped. So, fortunately, signed them Joanne instead of her actual signature, but it is what it is. Uh, so you got the two booklets, and then you got the uh, two actual CDs. So, uh, don't collect music, but for the price, you know... Couldn't pass it up, so like I said, I'll probably end up flipping at least one of those, probably both of them later on when uh, when the uh, the market is not as flooded as they are right now. Uh, so I got that, and then this is a really cool one. I love this card. Uh, it's a custom card, custom cut someone did from on sportscollectors.net. Uh, Billy Martin, former Yankees manager. This is not a 52 tops, but it's a 52 tops picture, and the guy ended up cutting out the signature portion and actually put in an authentic cut signature in there. It is a blank back, uh, but it's got really nice eye appeal. Uh, really cool autograph. Uh, don't have a Billy Martin, or didn't have a Billy Martin. Now I do. Um, managed the Yankees 17 different times, I think. Uh, but uh, really cool card. Really love that, uh, love that autograph. Got a pretty good price on it as well, so got that. Uh, 90 score set pickup, uh, Lenny Dykstra, fairly tough autograph to get, um, but uh, he, I sent this in for a private signing maybe a year ago and he ended up canceling, um, so I was able to get this uh, from someone that already had it signed, um, had a few Dykstras and he luckily had a 90 score, so I picked that up for the 90 score set and I think I'm needing down to like 37, 38 cards and that whole 700 and plus card set, been doing that for 15 years now. Um, Next, let's do this. Got this on sportscollectors.net as well. It's a 1989, 1988 Pacific Legends uh, Leo DeRocher sign card. Former Cubs uh, shortstop and manager. Was a player manager at one point. So really cool card there. Passed away quite a while ago. Been a nice addition to the Cubs collection. Next, I got these for dirt cheap. Someone was on uh, eBay selling some Gale Sayers. They must have been selling their whole Gale Sayers collection. I got these for like a buck fifty each, pretty much. I think it was. Now well, maybe I paid like six bucks ship for all three of these. It was just dirt cheap. This is actually his TTM signature that he used to sign. He doesn't sign through the mail anymore due to health issues. Um, but when he did, uh, a lot of times he would do the G Sayers. That's how you know it's a TTM. But uh, authentic signatures for sure. So I got this uh, Topps All American card. No. Sictifer loves that set. Um, it's a really cool uh, autograph there of the Kansas Comet. So I got that one. This one is the full Gale Sayer signature. Uh, Proline portrait signed in silver. So that's a really nice looking autograph. Uh, and lastly, another one of the G Sayers is from UD Legends. So, And they're in black Sharpie, but for the price, like I said, I got them at, I could not pass that up. So, um, Let's see here. Pick this up. This guy is now the 13th, I think, overall top prospect in baseball. Cody Bellinger, first base prospect for the uh, LA Dodgers. A lot of power on the kid. I think he's like a fifth round pick. Uh, born in 95, but uh, looks like the Dodgers got a steal on that guy in the fifth round. I think that's what he was. Um, let's see here. Let's do some TTMs. Then I got two, two drafts that I did. Some of the drafts are lower names, so we'll do those last. Uh, TTMs though. First off, we got former pitcher for the Red Sox, Mets, Royals, uh, Galen Cisco signed three cards. Got the 64 tops. Got the 69 and 62 tops rookie. Really nice autographs right there from Galen Cisco. Uh, got Hockey Hall of Famer Red Kelly 404. Sent these to his Canadian address. Obviously had to have Canadian postage to get it back to me. Got there's one. All nice with the Hall of Fame 69 inscriptions. Uh, this is a reprint, unfortunately, but still a nice card. And this uh, OPG uh, Marquee Legend. So this turned out really nice from the Hockey Hall of Famer. Got Tony La Russa on a 64 Tops rookie card. Original, signed in blue. Signed it pretty decent consider considering what he usually throws on a card. He usually signs it's extremely small, so that's actually a decent sized signature for La from La Russa. Send that to the Diamondbacks address. Uh, Rocky Blyer. Um, 
Former Steeler signed 4-4. Love how that card turned out. Super Bowl 13. Uh, really cool card there. Got the 78. Ooh, 75. Ugh. 75 tops. Got this tops chrome. Uh, honor roll, I think it is. Yeah, honor roll card. And got this SPX from his Notre Dame days. So nice return from Rocky Blyer. Uh, best women's golfer of all time, Annika Sorenstam, signed one of two cards for me. They were both jersey cards. You only signed one of them, so I'll send the other one in a couple months from now. Uh, so that turned out really nice. Unfortunately, she didn't sign the one I wanted more, but uh, I will definitely take it. So Annika Sorenstam. Got Dan Fouts. This is actually two different requests. One of them I sent back in like the summer. Didn't think I was getting it back. Sent out another request and got them both back the same day. So uh, technically these are three of three successes times two for Dan Fouts. There's one. There's two, three, four, five, and a six spot. Uh, Betty White, bless her soul. Still kicking, 95 years old. Actually got this through the mail on her birthday. So that was just kind of a coincidence. Two Phillips, spelled my name wrong, but that's okay. Got two L's in there. I'm a one L kind of guy. Uh, Betty White. And she loves me because she drew a nice little shaky heart with her 95-year-old handwriting. So... Hollywood legend there. Um, Brandy Chastain, who hit the goal, uh, game-winning goal in 1999, I think. Sounds about right, right? I think so. Yeah, so there's a picture of her actually taking her shirt off that she's known for, so that turned out really good. Uh, got that, and then I got the uh, 06, yep, 06 Ginter, and the 07 Donruss Elite Extra Edition, so all those turned out really good. <laughs> Another success from Goose Gossage, signed this UD Legends card, uh, New York Legends. It's got like a felt type uh, New York Yankees logo there. Always love the look of that set. David Stern apparently doesn't realize that he signed on the wrong side. So, and I always write the names of the person I'm sending him to on the back, but I forgot to it. Of course, in this one instance, I forget to. He signs it on the back, so I'm gonna have to resend those. Um, former NBA commissioner David Stern. So I got a Hall of Fame 14 inscription on that one, and an NBA inscription on that one. Nice return, but boy, I wish those were signed on the other side. Uh, next, Hall of Famer Don Sutton has been signing through the mail for a donation. So I bought a low grade 1966 Topps rookie card. It was a PSA like two, I think, two or three. Busted it out of its prison, sent it in a couple bucks for the oops, cash donation, and he signed it right over his face that he's known to do, uh, but with the Hall of Fame 98 inscription, so I'll definitely take that. Hockey Hall of Famer Daryl Sittler always personalizes, but uh, didn't have an autograph of him, so I sent this uh, 1979-80 OPG card to Philip All the Best, Daryl Sittler, Hockey Hall of Famer. Uh, Jimmy Key's a one per, so I sent this uh, 1984 Tops traded rookie card. I might get this another one of these signed because when I bought this from someone on Sports Lots, they didn't tell me that it was yellowed. So and it stinks like Marlboro. So got a smoker, smoker there apparently. The guy I bought that from. Uh, Tito Francona, father of Terry, signed four four, including a Pacific Legends card, sixty nine tops, sixty two, and a sixty one. So nice four four success from Terry Francona. Yeah, former 1952 American League MVP Bobby Shantz, 4-4. Uh, 62 tops. The, I don't know what year this is, 50, 57 maybe, MVP subset. Signed that one with the 1952 AL MVP inscription. 58 tops. And a 60 tops, I believe. So 4-4 four, four from Bobby Shantz. Bob Doerr. 4-4, four, four, still going strong. I think he's almost 100 years old now. Sign this card right here. Sign two of these uh, Panini Cooperstown Cron Royal cards. One's a refractor number to 75. Actually, 75 of 75. So I signed two of those, and he signed this 1941 Playball reprint card. Next, uh, Football Hall of Famer Charlie Joyner signed four more cards for me, including his rookie card. And three more. Jim Wills, former Cubs pitcher. This took like six, seven months to get back. and uh, Rough autograph, but man, he's still uh, still signing away apparently. So Jim Wills on a 54 Tops Archives card, as well as two index cards. I appreciate the effort and the response from Jim Willis. 
Next one, this one kind of ticked me off a little bit, but you know, you can't really complain about TTM successes when they're not charging anything. Dick Vitale sent me this little promo, signed in red, bent in the middle. And he signed my three cards in red Sharpie. And he ended up putting a paper clip on them. So you can see the indentations on that one. A couple paper clips right there. And it's on the Sport Kings one as well. Probably harder to see because it's not glossy. Yeah, there you go. So all kinds of dents on that, signed in red Sharpie. So I wasn't real thrilled about that because this wasn't, I don't think that was the cheapest card either, the Sport, Sport Kings card. Maybe it was, I don't remember. I know they used to be fairly pricey, but... Uh, that's it for TTMs. Probably send it to Dickie V again. Hopefully he'll not paperclip my cards and hopefully sign something other than red. Uh, next, I uh, had two different TTM in-person drafts. This was a Hall of Famer slash whatever, I think. Yeah, Hall of Famer slash whatever draft. So this is quite a smorgasbord right here. We got uh, Football Hall of Famer Roger Worley. Didn't have an autograph of him. This is on a 79 Tops card. That was my first round pick. Second round pick was Hockey Hall of Famer Adam Oates. Didn't have an autograph of him. Third round pick was this Kevin Millwood. Uh, this is the power up when he's got a big fat head. Um, didn't have a signed card of Millwood, so really good picture back in the day. Kevin Johnson, uh, former Suns guard, former Sacramento mayor. Uh, got in some trouble. Not going to get in that. You can Google it. Uh, Andrew Suarez. This is a certified autograph from Bowman Chrome. And he's like, uh, I don't know, number 10 or 11 prospect for the uh, Giants. Alex Arias didn't uh, have this former Cubs autograph. Nice autograph, too. Uh, Clint Hurdle, Pirates manager. This is when he was with the Rockies. Got Bruce Bochy, 88 tops. Got Grant Holmes. He's still in the top 100. He's slipped a bit in the uh, prospect rankings, but Grant Holmes. He's with the uh, Athletics organization now. Uh, Travis Demaretti It's in the Rangers organization. Got a lot of power. Ryan McMahon, he's uh, I think top 50 or so, I think, prospect. Got Des Clark, this is a gold. This is uh, my second Des Clark autograph. I got one in a previous draft, but it was in a um, Broncos uniform, so it's nice to get one in a Bears uniform. This one's numbered to 499. So we got that. Got Logan Morrison, didn't have an autograph of, uh, actually, you know what? I did have an autograph of Lomo, but uh, got that. Tony Bennett, he's currently the coach at Virginia. Runs one of the best defensive uh, schemes in the country. Uh, former Blackhawk Keith, former Blackhawk Keith, I can't even talk, Keith Brown. Marcus Semyon, shortstop with a lot of power, lower average though. Uh, former Pro Bowler Bertrand Berry, tops Chrome card. Got Merv Rettmund. Uh Nick Leva. He's with the Pirates, I think first base coach. Now a former Phillies manager. Got Justin Williams. Uh, I don't know who this is. I just got it because it was Ginter and it was still there. I guess he's uh, he owns a kayak company, or he's a former kayaker. I think he's both. Eric Jackson. But again, that was just a late round pick, so I picked it up, Ginter. Um, Gary Plummer. I always liked his autograph. Uh, Steven, I should know how to pronounce his last name because it's only four letters, but I'm going to go with Vote. I think it's Vote, Stephen Vote, pitcher or uh, catcher with a decent amount of power. Was with the Athletics, still think he is. Uh, I got uh, Mark Carrione uh, in the 91 tops. Got Mark Murphy, Packers Hall of Famer. Pat Mahomes. This is a long video. I apologize. Uh, Jake Smolenski. This is again the uh, kid that went to my high school. It's actually listed on the back there. Um, so that's a cool card. My dad and his dad worked together for many many years and. My dad remembers the days when Jake would call into the store asking for his dad. Who knew who would have thought he'd grow up to even be a Major League Baseball player? And he's a pretty decent player, too, um, getting a chance with the athletics. Now, uh, I got Ramon Vasquez. got Richie Schaefer. Paul Noach, or Nochi, as a Cubs fan, I should know that, but I was four when this came out. Uh, I got Todd Green, nice looking autograph. Another Jake Smolens. He is the Bowman. I already had this, but it was still sitting there at the end of the draft, so I grabbed it. Got a Steve uh, Scarsoni. Scarsone. Former Cub Jose Hernandez. Former Cub Michael Wirtz. Always loved his autograph. Very funky. And my last pick in the draft, Alex Yarbrough, who was a decent prospect. He's really fallen off the map, but you never know. He could come back. So that was one draft. And next was 
a you had to submit one guy from each team, I think. So uh, that's who I submitted. I submitted an autograph from all the 30 major league teams, and this is what I got. And you could pick all the same team if you wanted to. There's really no rhyme or reason to what you're picking, but it was pretty. It, this is a really weak draft, actually. So my first round pick was actually Bobby Bradley. Um, so got that. Got a Dylan Davis. Tyler Danish, White Sox, got Jairo Barris, got J.D. Davis, seems like I always get one of his autographs in the draft, <laughs> I got Scooter Jeanette, another Clint Hurdle, that one's in black sharpie, got uh, number one prospect in the Diamondbacks organization, Socrates Brito, uh, Brett Hol Oberholzer, I think this is the guy that got uh, demoted after he had a tantrum in the dugout, I think, or punched somebody or something. He had some kind of issue last year where they demoted him. I uh, got Justin Jacomi. Got Nick Delmonico. Preston Morrison, good underrated pitching prospect for the Cubs. I don't even think he cracked the top 30, but he's got good stats. Uh, Jamie Quirk, didn't have an autograph of him. Uh, Kyle Kubica. Uh, Roel Ramirez. Mike Baxter, Sean Barry, yeah, some of these names are pretty rough, Aaron Laffey, uh, Tom Wilson, Kevin Baez, Brian Daubach, and you got Jody Davis, Skeeter Barnes, Mariano Duncan, Luis Montanez, who was a top prospect for the Cubs, never panned out, Stuart Clyburn, Matt Caps, Mitchell Boggs, Alex Castellanos, and lastly, a Bill Simas. So that's it. Long video, a lot of crap there. I will do a video with Minnie Mo. Um, oh, you know what? Crap, I should have shown that. You know, I'll show the, the other stuff at the beginning of the uh, in the next video. Should have shown that before because it's some pretty decent stuff. So uh, that's all I got for now. I want to thank you all for watching, and as always, please stay safe.